The recent consultations between Transnamib management and Natau over the right-sizing exercise at Transnamib were abruptly halted when premature and confidential information was leaked to the press. This leakage caused the breakdown of communication between the company and the union. This was stated in the joint communique by Transnamib Holdings and the Namibia Transport and Allied Workers Union on the recent explosive reports and controversy on the announced planned job cuts at the parastatal. Unfortunately, Transnamib management was not available to speak to. However, the acting CEO, Mr. Chivikwa, came through telephonically. This is what he had to say. We, we have engaged, but now we, yeah, we are doing it procedurally and uh, we are doing it uh, uh, in consultation. We also had a conciliation meeting with the Ministry of Labour. Uh, so we are just uh, doing it procedurally now. The biggest um, thing talked about the past two weeks was the massive amount of job cuts from Transnamo. Is that still in the pipeline? Well, we are in consultation with the union. We are in consultation with the union, and um, nothing is cast in stone at the moment. Only after we have um, finalized our consultation, that's when we can come back to the public and uh, and um, share our um, agreement. As part of its turnaround strategy, Transnamib Holdings intends to retrench almost 1,000 of its current workforce. Namibia's unemployment rate currently stands at almost 30%. Curbing the social disability is currently high on government's priority list. For the News on One, I'm Francho Olafir.